And with so many people getting tested for COVID-19 right now, it can be confusing to know which kind of test is best for which scenario. And some people are worried, are these test results reliable? Well, Fox 9's Hannah Flood took some of our questions to a COVID testing expert at the Mayo Clinic to help clear up some of this confusion. Dr. Binnaker, thank you so much for answering our questions about testing. Um, my first question for you is, can we trust the results of rapid tests? I think the reliability uh, depends one on the test and two on the circumstance. Not all rapid antigen at home tests are created equally. He also recommends checking the FDA's website to make sure the test you have is approved. In terms of uh, scenarios where they're most reliable, if you have symptoms, so if you have respiratory symptoms like a sore throat, cough, fever, and you test positive for COVID-19 by one of those at-home antigen tests, that result is uh, reliable. It, it likely means that you have COVID-19. But he says if you don't have symptoms and are taking the test as a precaution and test positive? That could potentially be a false positive. The specificity of those at-home tests is not quite as good in people who lack symptoms. So he recommends relying on lab PCR tests. We've been seeing these videos and kind of things swirling around on social media about people testing their throat with a swab. What do you think of that? Yeah, a lot of discussion on social media about this. So likely coming from the fact that patients who are infected with Omicron may experience um, a sore throat. What we're recommending though, at least what I'm recommending is that you stick with the instructions of the test that you're using. Most of the at-home antigen tests were only studied in nasal swabs. What if you are experiencing symptoms, you test negative on a rapid test, and you're waiting for the results of the PCR test? If you have symptoms, you use an at-home test that comes back negative, and those symptoms persist or they get worse, it's definitely a good idea to get a lab-based PCR. And you, you should stay home and isolate until you get the results back. Hannah Flood, Fox 9.